Listen. Now, Edaluma, standing near me, from the same tribe as me. You see, now the woman now, let me interpret now, because she's from my language. She said that Tinubu, after all the campaign and everything, they've elected you. We are, you know, I said that language, we are hungry. She's a Yoruba woman from the same tribe like me. So, like I said, hunger, insecurity, inflation is no respect, poverty. These are no respect of tribe, religion, and political affiliation. I repeat, hunger, poverty, inflation, insecurity. They are no respecter of tribe, politics, or religion. An old woman now, she probably should have voted for, she voted for APC. Now she's complaining that the power. What she's saying is she's selling people because she's working. She's a market. She's, she's not a lazy person. She's working. But inflation now, because what, what, what she can buy with her now, now, is what she, she bought for her before. So these are what you are saying. It's not that we, know, you know, we don't like people, we like the government, we want the government to succeed. But they, but, but they should have mercy on the citizens. Why is it that share 500 million in the midst of hardship and poverty? You can see. So it's not the matter of uh, you hate this politics. It's not about politics. It's not about type. It's not about religion. It's about the truth. Jesus said, I always quote this every day. You shall know the truth. And the truth that you know is set you free. So what should the people do now? What What is expected of Nigerians? Because all these things, we need to take action. If not, they will continue. Um, th thank you for, I love that question. Um, I, I, I said it yesterday. If you push a goat to the wall, when the goat reaches the end of the wall, it has a way to run to. The goat will turn back and face you. But if you push a Nigerian man to the wall, if you have a way to go, you rather break the wall and enter inside. All of the reason is religion. The truth is this. Our religious leaders, they have disappointed us. And that, forget about it. They keep on telling us to pay, to pay for our leaders. The same leaders, leaders that are buying half of them in their cars in the midst of passion. So, 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 so tell us the truth. That, that it is time for us to stand up for our country. Everything should not be violence. I've never, for, I keep on saying it, my records are there. I've never for once advocated for a damn military coup. No. Never for violence put up for revolution. For instead for the citizens to stand up for their nation, we should take back our country. The job belongs to us. The people in power are not, are not up to the average people. Power is in the hands of the people. Power belongs to the citizens. It's time for us to know, to think outside the box. Because now, if a nation is here today, you see, probably this woman now, she's not even going for the same party. You know why? Look at that. You saw you can show a market. What she's selling. So, possibility that they give her 10,000 naira, 20,000 naira. But that is the problem. So, poverty is being weaponized. Nigeria, we are never meant to be poor. I, I keep on saying the same thing. But these politicians, in conjunction with the religious leaders, national rulers, civil servants, and the elders of this nation, they made the people to be poor. They have to control them. Democracy cannot work, whether it's poverty and illiteracy. Education without exposure is equal to ignorance. Okay. You understand? Okay. Okay. You can be educated. Activism without a job is equal to uselessness. You understand? So, 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 so that is it. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm an activist. I'm good. I'm good team. We don't have a job. But just I'm going to use you. Majority of our pastors that we are supposed to respect. They are, they, are, they are wine and dining with the politicians. Then tell them the truth. Tell them that the people are suffering. Tell them that the, tell them that the people, that their families have been separated. Somebody staying in the Kodu, working in the Koyi, cannot go home every day because of the high cost of transportation. They have to sleep at work. They go on, on Saturday to see his wife only two days. Monday morning is coming back. Is that how family is supposed to be? So poverty is, 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 is being weaponized. In big place and ignorance is being weaponized. That is where then. Finally, the issue of tribalism comes in. I will keep, you know, in this era, this is the time that some of us are going to break the yoke of tribal sentiment. And I'm at the first part of it. When the rich people are doing meeting, yesterday they were sharing money. Outside collected, Yoruba will collect, Igbo will collect, Kalaba, Kanui, Fulani, um, Ijo, they will collect this money. Muslims, Christians, Babala worship, everything they will collect. APC, Labour Party, after they are collecting the money, they are sharing the money happily. 
the poor people are out of it. When election now comes, they will now sow the seed of this unity. Ah, my Yoruba people. Ah, my Igbo people. And some Igbo people will be falling for it. No. If you are an Igbo person, you are a good person, you are my brother. Kalawa person, you are a good person, you are my brother. Also, you are my brother. Because poverty is the common factor among the citizens. Hunger is not a matter of time. If this woman now that is complaining, you are, it seems you are an Igbo person, it is a Yoruba person. If you give her money, she give her collect. They are the other people that are begging money, those are good people there. If you give them money, they collect. Outside uh, Calabar, they collect. But that is, that is fair party. It has no respect for any type of religion. But when, when election comes, that we are supposed to speak to 12 voices and say, who oh, this thing that you are useless with that? They will throw the seed of tribal, of tribal disunity. Ah, your bad people are like this. Even people, they are like this. I hope they are like this. Anytime anybody's competence is being tested, and he throws in tribal sentiment. He has nothing to offer. That was why I told you that, that last year, it would have been the answer. Because he said, don't vote for me on the, because I'm an Igbo person. Don't vote for me because I'm a Christian. Vote, don't vote for me because it is even my turn. Vote for me because I have competence, character, capacity, and commitment to turn this nation around. Whether people, they were doing, you see, you see them, they were doing Muslim, Muslim, this unity. Whether party, you saw them. After Fulani became president, but that was too want to. So that is it. Tribalism is a very, 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 very big disease that this position has intentionally planted it to divide us. So now, the only thing to do, the citizens should, should think about it. Now we are one. Everybody is coming to enter motor, everybody is coming to do the same thing. There's no fight, there's nothing. And let's people will become, they start to divide us. The people should now should think about it. No. It goes on my brother. And I'm on my brother. My brother, our, our, our problem National Assembly members that are sharing money that are not sharing on the basis of type and religion. With that, everything will work. Okay. So without that, we keep receiving ourselves. God bless everybody. God bless all obedience. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much.